What's going on guys? Caporty Brothers here for another video. It's, you, a, be a good one it's a good one. As you can tell by a title, yeah. it's, it's going to be a, a good one. Good little story time. Uh, it might not be a good one. You guys might not like it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, we're going to share something with you guys that we just you know recently come across. So, uh, you know, someone we know has a dealer and uh, they came across this car at the auction and you know, they shared it with us. It's a 2010 E63 AMG, you know, with the M156. And um, if you, if, I'll put a picture here on the screen. If you look at the odometer, it says 566,000 miles. So that, and, for those, uh, are, I mean, I'm gonna cut you off for so for anyone that doesn't know, right behind us is our 413,000 mile E55 yeah. AMG, which is which is roughly not. I don't know if it is, but one of the highest mile yeah. AMGs out there right now. Yeah. There's a couple with around like 390, 405. I don't know, but um. So as you can tell, like Matt said, when we got this information, yeah. we're like, oh my god. First off, it's an M156, so I want to know how many times that engine was rebuilt. But yeah, <laughs> so the M156, you gotta know those, those are uh, those are notorious for problems. Six thousand miles. But uh, the, the 566,000 mile part is crazy, and uh, I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, this engine, I'll, I'll, I'll be surprised if it's original. You know, with all those miles. <laughs> But uh, nonetheless, I was thinking, I was looking at the pictures because uh, we saw pictures of the car. I'll put a couple up here. The car like it was, you know, really, <laughs> really, really clean for the miles. The I mean, ours, was, I mean, ours was really clean for the miles too, but this was like, you know, really clean for the miles. And tier, it was kind of weird because the back seats were taken out, the passenger seat was taken out. Did that have stock uh, wheels or no? No, they were, they were like aftermarket. I think they yeah, were like, yeah, wheels. some, some aftermarket I forget. wheels. We'll have the pictures up, you guys but, can uh, see But anyways, um, so I was like, oh, I wonder if, if this is the actual mileage because I think it even said on there the car doesn't start, doesn't run, and you know has some other problems. Basically a paperweight. Yeah, but, yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm you know a little curious to see what's going on here, and uh, so we we were like, well, maybe we'll run the Carfax and, and see if we can pull up a Carfax and you know because they, they didn't have more information about it. They didn't have any information on a car, and I, I told Matt we're, yeah. uh, we're like really studying these pictures. And I'm like, this yeah. is way too clean, minus the yeah. fact that the inside was basically gutted. The the driver's seat looked really really good. Um, the paint, I mean, it was at, it's at Copart. Is it Copart? No, or no, no, it's at the auction. No, it's, at the auction. A, it's at a dealer auction. But anyway, so it looks pretty it good. It was a clean title, yeah. Yeah, yeah so auction. no car facts or nothing. Car doesn't start, it's basically yeah. paperweight. So luckily one of our followers, um, we'll put his information right here, uh, car underscore reporting, he, uh, Pretty nice. He actually runs a uh, Instagram page where he you send him seven dollars and he gives you a Carfax. Yeah. I think it's one normally what like 30, 40 bucks. I forget what it costs. I guess it's usually forty dollars for a Carfax. And uh, yeah, so he'll run a Carfax for you for seven bucks. So you know we use this. We're not getting paid to say this. We actually yeah. use, we actually use them all the time for yeah. different things. But uh, so I hurry up and message him. I sent him yeah. the VIN and everything, and he sent us the the, the Carfax back, which will will pop up right here on the screen. And uh, and uh, yeah. as we got it back, we were a little surprised. Only what fifty seven thousand? I wasn't really surprised because I knew the car didn't have many miles on. So there's no way. M156 making it that far, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we looked at Carfax and it was like it was like 56 or 50, 57, 57 thousand miles. So, so, I don't know where they got so I basically, basically, I don't know what the heck happened here. They must have added 500 thousand to it. I don't know why. I'm going back and think thinking it was maybe uh, 500 thousand minus one, 499 yeah, thousand. Yeah, maybe somebody at the dealer really wanted the car and they didn't want to pay law for, it, so maybe they went in there, and messed around, and changed it to you know well, 500 thousand, maybe a so. repo or something. So you know, they, I think it was a clean Carfax too. Yeah, it was. It was a clean Carfax, 57 thousand miles. Just doesn't have an interior. Doesn't start. Well, no, the interior is all there. It just had no rear seats and no passenger seat. That's what I mean. It has no interior. No, seat. everything else is still there. The it, it, the it, carpet is all there. It had the demon package, the race package. Yeah, it had the race package. The part took it to the strip and you know wanted some weight reduction. But uh, we're like, oh man. So luckily we're like, oh okay. So we still got one of the higher mileage ones. But uh, yeah, it would have uh, been pretty cool uh, to yeah, see so though. Personally, I, I would have loved to see another high, been... another higher car than ours in mileage. 566 would have been freaking awesome. That would have been AMG. like a put up on a pedestal for that 156 yeah. guy. Well, let's, let's put it this way. If it actually was 566,000, 100% we would have bought it. We were, gonna, oh, we, yeah. uh, we were all, all ready to buy it. Like, guarantee we're going to buy this car. even though it we, wouldn't, we wouldn't have made the video until we've actually bought the car, but yeah. 57,000 miles, it's running yeah, the mill. I was like, 57,000 miles, I was like, nothing special about this one. Yeah, we, we actually wrote everything down. We were going to have the guy yeah. you know, actually put a bid on and everything, but uh, it's it's not, it wasn't real. It's uh, 57,000 miles used and abused car, so. <laughs> Uh, so I know, it could have been like you know you know it's probably repo. Wait, it normally you, you guys put it down in the comments what you guys think happened. Well, you guys can tell we got the pictures up here. Yeah. I mean the mileage is way off, and I, I don't even yeah. think it's that easy to change the miles. I think you got to go through. It's the not the first, I've seen that before too. The different auctions where it'll say inaccurate like miles on the odometer. This is way off. Like there's this one S class one time that had like 545,000 miles on it, and it said it was inaccurate. Check the car facts, and it was only like a. Like less than 100. Some guy's probably gonna buy it and make a YouTube video. It's gonna go viral saying so get the highest mileage AMG. Yeah, that's why I figured we make this video. Like, ah, oh, someone <laughs> might buy this and play it off as a higher mileage so if you AMG. Got, if, you so. got, if you guys see somebody on social media or 
you know, selling it on eBay yeah. or something. It's not. It's, it's you get the Carfax and which we will show right here. It only. Well, has, I'm not gonna put the VIN number in the video. I don't want to do that. But, but uh, well, you'll see that it doesn't have. Uh, yeah. You know, the mileage is way off. It's, yeah. it's actually it's actually a low mileage example for. Yeah, it's, actually, it's <laughs> actually probably a gem, even it doesn't run. <laughs> it doesn't run. Right but uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments about this and what you know. I thought it was, it was pretty cool. It, it would have been really it would have been really badass if it actually had 500. Yeah, that, that, that would that would have been like a whole new respect for the M156. Yeah, that would have been. I mean, I would. Can you imagine that that maintenance bill? I mean, yeah. we got like our U55s got like around sixty thousand dollars in maintenance. Can you imagine five hundred sixty thousand miles on an M156? Oh man, that's got to be at least a hundred. I wonder how long this head bolt would last. You know, if you change them, I wonder how long they would last. I don't know. Who knows? But either way, let us know in the comments what you guys think. Share this video. Give it a like. Uh, tell your friends, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.